In the classroom, you're just sitting at your desk learning about it. Out here, you actually get to go and do it. I just love learning how everything is interconnected and how things just rely on one another. I mean, people rely on nature more than we think. I suddenly found myself being extremely interested in other environmental things. I wasn't very much concerned about the environment until I came here, and I just saw how beautiful nature could be. Um, what makes a good environmental educator, I would say, is someone who knows not only how to connect with nature, but also have a connection with the audience that they're serving, because you can provide and deliver this information, but also have some sort of connection with your students and have and build this everlasting bond. We use a lot of citizen scientists, particularly a lot of high school students and college students, as it gives these students some real hands-on experience in how to do field work and how to do conservation work, to learn the skills and the knowledge that they'll need for their entire career. It's really a light bulb moment for the students when they can see this used cooking grease transformed into a renewable fuel. You see in their faces this pride and then also that they realize they're connected some way with each other and their environment. Being from the city at first, I just thought these were pests. These do a lot. They pollinate the food that we eat when you know that they're, they're so important to everything, then you just, you know, you want to try to protect them, like you try to protect something you love, you know? That's awesome! That's not on the beach anymore, and never will be. So thank you all. I became stronger, not only physically, but emotionally. I realized that I could uh, withstand a lot of tough conditions. It made me want to encourage myself more and um, be more ambitious. I mean, I think I became more of an environmental freak <laughs> to my mom. I just had a whole new outlook on life. Thank <laughs> you.